Now let me tell you something about being an engineering student. It fucking sucks. I was once a boy filled with high hopes and dreams, now a guy with a life filled with nothing but regret. Now I come from a place where society places too much of an importance on engineering. Almost everybody gets whipped into the what I like to call, let's brainwash everybody to be an engineer movement, which is somehow still fucking alive to this very fucking day. Now I believe that only the smartest of the smart, sharpest of the sharp, should become engineers. But it seems every halfwit motherfucker from Timbuktu gets to study engineering, whether they want to or not. Resulting with a bunch of dumbass kids, but with a degree that gets fucking plastered in their hands after the end of their course. Here's some things I hate about the whole engineering shtick, and just college in general from my experience. Overhyping the fuck out of money and jobs, you hear it everywhere. It seems like everyone gets a fucking orgasm out of it. Now let me explain. From the moment you pay your fees to the start of your fucking career, get ready to hear these words like money. Money this, money that, placement this, placement that, job this, job that, career this, career that, fuck it. This shit starts from the fucking orientation. Like, the first things that people say and people ask are, who are the richest people in the world? Or, who are the billionaires of the world? Instead of people who have actually made shit that fucking functions and actually helps people. I mean, at least put in people like Einstein or Tesla and act like you actually fucking care. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. And everybody says the same shit like Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos. I actually want to say Jay-Z or Kanye West just to fuck them over, but still. Eh. The problem is that people buy into the idea that you have to make the most money possible. And if you ain't doing that, then get ready to be treated like the lowest of the low. Next jobs. A job at the end of the day is just to help you so you don't end up homeless. You feel me? But people will really overhype this career shit to the highest fucking proportions. I mean, besides the money, which really isn't enough. I don't really see the appeal of it. I mean, imagine it. Working in a job in a corporate world that will suck the fucking soul out of you, only for you to remain a shell of your former self. Not appealing to me. I get that people's situations are different, but come on, son. You can do yourself better than this dog shit of a lifestyle. In short, there's too much fucking greed in this industry, and it can't be stopped. Education has a lot of problems that needs to fucking stop, like, look, I'm a guy that lives under perpetual sleep deprivation, and I try my best to pay attention to these fucking lectures, but pass five minutes into these one of these things and I'm passed out. And it ain't just me. Half of the class is passed out there like they're on a fucking LSD trip. Because even if the topic at hand is actually interesting, <laughs> God forbid, these motherfuckers would somehow find a way to make it seem boring as fuck. Is it just me, or are laboratories made solely for the purpose of stressing the people the fuck out? Because goddamn, can I get two hours of my week back so I can do something useful? Nothing that happens in the lab is priorly explained leaves us looking at programs like they were the fucking Da Vinci Code. Everything that happens in the labs is just either unorganized chaos on one hand or just some uneventful shit on the other. Either way, you end up going home questioning your life choices. Speaking of people that make you regret your life choices brings me to the students. Now if the staff is stage 4 cancer, then the radioactive toxic waste that causes it are the students. And trust me, there ain't no fucking chemotherapy. From my experience, there are three types of students. The first group is the kids that are forced to do engineering. Now I can feel with these motherfuckers because I'm one of them. Now these guys barely want to do shit because they don't want to even be here in the fucking first place. They must have had other plans, but they were forced to do this shit. You can't really blame them, and you can really tell them apart, because they are either really confused, or really don't give a shit, or both. Now, the second group of kids are the kids who actually wanted to do engineering. Poor souls. Now, these kids make up about 1% of the entire student body. Now, I have a bit of respect for these motherfuckers, but these guys will have to spend almost all of their time helping out with the rest of us. So they start to develop a bit of distrust among the rest of the students. I mean, picture it. You are trying to make it here. For real. Reading, researching, programming, studying, memorizing, making projects in your own free time, and then 
You have the rest of the class at your feet, like... I give you anything you must. Anyways, these guys will have a tough time trying to keep ahead. Now, the third group is the one that pisses me off the most. Because, goddamn. Now, these are the kids who do engineering because they have nothing better to do. Now, these are the guys you really have to watch out for. So, how these motherfuckers work? Well, they have either the degree re recommended to them, or they just came here thinking engineering was a safe fucking choice. Now, it, it would seem these guys would be easy to approach and mingle, right? Wrong. The problem with these guys is that they wind up with some sort of expectation that college has this thing that doesn't actually exist. That thing being fun. Half of the blame goes to the college movies that have been shat out in the past two decades. And that pushes the ideology that college is a safe haven, that it's some place where you experience the absolute euphoria of your lifetime, but when in actuality, it's absolutely nothing like that. It's fucking hell on earth. Now the problem with these kids is when the reality check fucking hits, they turn rogue fast, I mean real fast. They become the most irritating and annoying motherfuckers on the planet, I tell ya. Every waking day is insane without some sort of ratchet shit going on because of their antics. It feels like their mentality shifts from, oh, I'm going to go to college, it's going to be so damn fun, to, oh, if it can't be happy, then I'm just make it, make it shittier for everyone else and blame it on the staff because I'm always right. And also, these guys just have the most purest god complex vibes, like they can just, like they just deserve this ultimate level of reverence. And if you don't do it otherwise, you may as well be worth fucking dirt to them. Well, here's one thing I do have to say to these motherfuckers. At the end of the day, we're studying engineering, not fucking Scarface, alright? You're stuck in a massive, never-ending shithole, so you best be shutting the fuck up. Now, engineering is overrated. The engineering market is heavily saturated with people who don't even want to be there. But at the end of the day, it's a dog-eat-ass world, which... Hey, who the fuck is it? It's the engineerocracy, baby. Oh no. Not the engineerocracy. Why are you here? We heard you was talking all that shit about us. Is that how you get your rocks off, huh? No, no, no. That wasn't my intent, and I thought my points were pretty valid. You gonna run around damaging our image? You gonna run around lowering our student rate? You gonna try to make us bankrupt, huh? No, no. I was just trying to tell people to diversify their options, and college ain't what it's all cracked up to be. You have angered the great engineerocracy lord this time, Mr. Bobby. For this you must pay severely. Your verdict is expulsion. No, anything but expulsion. Anything but tumbling down in the endless void of darkness. Anything but that. It's been decided. No. <laughs>